Alright, what's good people? Today I'm gonna show you guys how I made this Tummy Richmond style beat. Alright, free FLP, which means you can download the project file in the description of the video. A few things might be different. Um, I'll explain in a second. If you did like this drop, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much. Alright, let's get into how we made this. So we're going to start with the drums. We've got this kick over here. Quite a punchy, quite a thick, warm kick. I love it. It's quite short. And as you can see, we're automating the sidechain with the kick and the, sna and the snare, which we'll get to. But you can see here with the kick, we've got this sidechain, which is fruity balance in our mixer channel right here. And that plays every single time the kick plays. This pattern was inspired by Million Dollar Baby. Simply up next, we've got our claps and snares. So check this out. That's our snare one. This is our snare two. But if we zoom in, you can see I've slid it off to the left or to the right a little bit, a little bit delayed. So you get just kind of like a swaggy effect, just moving things to the left or to the right can really change up the sound. And I recommend you do that, especially for this sort of like wavy, swaggy style of music. And then again, as you can see, we're side chaining also when the snare hits. If you don't know side chaining, you're just dipping the volume so that you give space to the kick and the snare. It's something that's just used in a mixing standpoint. It's 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 essential sometimes, it's not always. But because we're making things quite loud in this, that's what the side chain is for. All right, next up, we've got this 808 hat. Doesn't really get much more simple than that. This is literally from the stock FL drums. If you want to know where to find that, you literally just go down to packs, drums, I think right here, hats. 808CH just ever so slightly pitched down just for the style and as you can see again moved ever so slightly to the right just to give it a more a swaggy style so together the kick claps the snare and the hat sound like this now the reason why you hear that hat sound different whenever the kick hits is because the hats the clap the snare and the kick are all going into a drum bus with a compressor I'm using 90 you can use any compressor you like but yeah Simplicity is key here with Tommy Richmond with this style with just any hip-hop track really because you want a rapper over it Keep your drums simple. This is like the main thing where even pro producers go wrong Sometimes they make things too complicated and then the rapper just can't even get on it Then following the million dollar baby style. We've got this 808 open hat Which again is from the free stock FL sounds it goes Then for just the vibes, I added this 808 cowbell. I hate to say it, but that's pretty much 99% it. If you can recreate that, you can kind of go free and do your own thing. I added this sort of like, what is it? Jersey trap? Forgive me if I'm wrong with that. That just kind of repeats and creates a little bit of a rhythm. And then you can hear here, when I add the bass line, it just all goes together. But we'll get to the bass line in just a second. Actually, we'll get to it right now. All right, so this bass line, custom made. You will get the bass line in an exported WAV file, but I made it using my Serum preset pack, which you can buy linked in the description of the video. I'm gonna be honest with you, these presets are more aimed towards EDM and house music, but as you can see, I managed to use it here for this Tommy Richmond style drop. So just a disclaimer before you even get into looking at what it is, appreciate you check it out, link in the description. So this is one of my basses. And this bass line is following this like melodic pattern we've got here. So just following the root key, the bass line of that basically. Now, when I add this Tommy Richmond vocal from Million Dollar Baby, it doesn't quite fit, but it's just a, a reference here, you know. Ultimately, you'd call up Tommy Richmond and ask him to, uh, but otherwise. <laughs> The last little element we've got here is this like reverberated vocal. 
that layers together with this other sample. You know, just kind of building it together, making it whole, and it all together comes to sound like this. Alright, <laughs> very short, very simple video. I hope you liked it. It's a free FLP, so go ahead and enjoy it. I know most of y'all click on this shit to get that FLP, but if you watch it to the end, you're a real one. I appreciate you so much. Without further ado, I'm going to play this drop one more time, and I'm going to say peace. Peace. Peace.